everyone, it's Raleigh Mason, Majora Inspection Services. Today we're on an inspection and we're gonna be talking about lead paint and siding. Some things you can do with that. So this is an older home. You've got some older wood siding and you can bet that there is lead paint used in this. And what you'll usually see, you can tell with the wood um, paint, the way it's painted over, maybe a lot of different a lot of different colors painted over it, uh, just years of paint. Uh, and that's because you don't want to actually scrape away at the, the wood to get to that bottom portion of paint. You don't want to scrape all the way down to the grain because you'll have lead paint in there more than likely. And that's when you get into trouble with lead as you're scraping it off down into the ground and you'll get that into the, into the ground water and down in the creeks. You want to keep that from happening. Now this is a technique you may see where they wrap the old wood because at this point it may be that the wood's taken on too much moisture or it's just not worth the effort of trying to deal with that lead-based paint as it's there. In this trim they've wrapped it in a product uh, which is great. So you can see the top corners, bottom corners the way it's put together. It's a great way to wrap this old wood around the windows and not have to worry about it. All you have to do at this point is keep it painted. It's not a wood product, it's more of a sheet metal application here, but that will stay for a long time, I'm not causing any issues or having problems with that. What you do have to worry about is make sure all these gaps are sealed, some sort of sealant. We don't see that here necessarily. We're seeing gaps right in these corners and that's what you don't want to have because that's where water can still get in, penetrate inside there and leak into the wood and, and rot it out.